despite the excessive heat we have, there are signs of hope for our water. So our level, uh, our water levels at Lake Mead have risen every single month from the snowpack and Lake Powell releases. So look at where we are right now, 1,060 feet. Look at where we were last year. 1,040 feet. So at this rate, we are approaching levels that we were at in 2021. Now, this is only a drop in the bucket compared to what we had uh, just a few years ago, 20 years ago, in fact. If you take a look at this next graphic here, you could see 10 trillion gallons of losses from the year 2000 to 2021. This is equivalent to all the water in all of Lake Mead. The snowpack, wet winter, and Lake Powell release gave quite the boost to Lake Mead levels. All five access points to get boats in the water are now open. But scientists at UCLA released a study this week showing the grim reality of the drought across the entire Colorado River Basin. From 2000 to 2021, warmer weather caused the loss of 10 trillion gallons of water, equal to the entire storage capacity of Lake Mead. The Colorado River system provides water to seven states and 40 million people. The head scientist released a statement. The fact that warming removed as much water from the basin as the size of Lake Mead itself during the recent mega drought is a wake up call to the climate change impacts we are living today. We have been flirting with a kind of a danger zone on Lake Mead and Lake Powell in the last few years where we could actually see a situation in which one or the other reservoir would go into Deadpool, which is the place where no water can be delivered off the reservoir. And of course, it would be catastrophic. Sarah Porter is the director of the Kyle Center for Water Policy at ASU. In May, Arizona, Nevada, and California agreed to significant cuts through 2026. She says it's not as drastic as it could be due to our wet winter. So the Nevada Water Authority says it will meet new targets because of our ongoing conservation efforts. So the Nevada does not use all the water it's allowed each year. We are on a path to be able to meet these obligations over the next four years, but it's going to be incumbent upon everybody to keep saving water, following the seasonal watering restrictions, replacing grass, and then, of course, reporting water waste when you see it. So the feds have to finalize that water agreement with Nevada, California, and Arizona. They'll also outline the state of the river for 2024.